So that is what I remember. Uh, you said something earlier that reminded me of when I used to see you around Stokes County. Yeah. I remember you. I remember thinking of you as like a hippie kid. Yeah. I mean, literally, I mean, literally was kind of went down the stereotypical hippie trail of like, um, you know, turned into a vegetarian, joined the Hare Krishnas, you know. Can you tell me what all that, that is? Um, so the Hare, it's been such a while, but um, when I was about 14, like I got exposed to hanging out with like the Hare Krishnas, which are like the term Hare Krishna is like a mantra that um and it's what they the people uh who are Hare Krishnas which is kind of like a consciousness thing is what they call it but it's really like a sect of Hinduism that is like a monotheistic version where they worship um Krishna who is like in Hinduism there's kind of like three different versions of God one's Brahma the creator Krishna the like is the middle one and then um, Shiva is like the destroyer. Mm. And there's all these different, it's a, you know, Hinduism as a whole is like a polytheistic religion where Hare Krishna um, is like focusing on Krishna and the different incarnations of who they, the, the Krishna, the, the guy is, I'm, I'm not trying to go into like a, a whole religion class here. Actually, you know, it'd be great for that. It's like Josh Shelton you had on here. He Didn't he like study religion or something? I thought so. But, Did um, he? I didn't even know. Maybe, maybe I'm wrong. I, I can't know. believe religion didn't come up in that conversation. Yeah, but, but um, anyway, yeah. But anyway, so, um, or a buddy of mine, I know I have a couple friends who study that, but um, basically got into that whole thing. And, and I realized it looking back why I was into it. And, uh, you know, my whole, you know, whatever relationship with religion is still complicated. I'm not exactly sure where I am or how I fall. You know, I believe in God. I know that, you know, but then like everything else is a little, I'm not exactly sure, you know. Yeah. Um, And I think I was thinking that at the time. I was hanging out with a bunch of atheists and was kind of like an atheist for a while. Uh, And then was hanging out with these Hare Krishnas all at the same time. Hmm. Then I was like, oh, this is cool. It's a lot more, because I went over there, and they had all this great food that they fed me, and they were like, bring your guitar. We're going to sing songs and dance and praise God. And I was like, that's awesome. <laughs> yeah, this is different. I could do this thing. I'm Like I said, the whole greener grass on the other side <laughs> yeah. of the syndrome, I'm starting to realize that, you know, now it's like, oh, it's like, this is way better than Christianity. Let's just try this for a little bit. <laughs> and, uh, you know, and then, like, I, I met a lot of cool people through the whole experience and, like, went on these trips. And uh, these hard Christians, they like to have fun. You know, it's good, clean fun. They're all just dancing around and, like, singing and swaying. <laughs> and, like, I mean, they really, it's like they're kind of partying, but, you know, totally straight edge. Yeah. Um, and great food. I mean, I tell you. And really, the other thing that I loved about it is instead of, like, getting preached to, uh, it was like we all sat in a circle and we were reading the Bhagavad Gita together. And then it was like, uh, you might have even met this guy, Mitra, who did, you he, ever, did, he, was, did he used to come up to the um, the Stokes Stump? Yeah, yeah, and stuff? yeah, yeah. I, I met some. He played of them. like this Mitra Tar thing. Yeah, I think I did meet him. Yeah, yeah, Mitra. Great, you know, he's like a very wise dude. But um, he he would lead these um, uh, you know, little like a sermon basically. But it was you know more of a discussion and be like, now what do you think of that? And it felt more like, wow, this is this is awesome. You know, we're all like just kind of saying how we feel, and it feels more like included or whatever this version of – anyway. But then there was like all of this turmoil within the church. Like that that temple was like right across the street from this other temple, and they were like trying to – anyway, I don't want to get into it too much. But then it was like, why, why aren't – Anyway, there was a little, there was some politics and drama that kind of went in there, and it was like, uh, I'm about to move to college. Let me just, you know, go do this. And then also, all that same time, I joined the funk band, and then like Camry, the drummer who you met, he like took me to like the black church, and I felt that same kind of thing. I felt over there at the like the Hardy Christian thing, because I was like, wow, everybody's dancing, and you know, yeah, everybody's having a good time. It's like this Big is a killer energy. band, and everybody's really getting into it. And yeah. this, you know, this isn't just like. Now turn the page to, you know, or, you know, shut up and walk. And, and I hope I'm not offending anybody who's, like, um, listening. But basically, and I think I just realized that whole experience, it was like that music was, like, 
you know, Jimi Hendrix kind of thing. It's like, music is my religion. It's like, you know, it makes me feel something. I definitely think any religion that has some kind of music in it. And then through bluegrass music going on, like I connected with that old timey gospel y kind of down to the river to pray kind of feeling. And mm-hmm. like, you know, I'm not, like I said, I don't know exactly how I feel about, you know, what I classify myself or whatever. And, you know, where I'm placing myself in that whole religious spectrum. But I tell you what, those, you know, those old gospel songs, mm-hmm. man, they're powerful. You yeah. know, whoever, you know, whatever your religion is, what any of that stuff, you can, I mean, a lot of people can feel that there's, there's conviction in a lot of the way that these people sing it. And there's something I've, you know, felt in that. Maybe it's because I'm, you know, was born and raised in it. And I, it all kind of came back. It's like, yeah, you know, this is what I was like, my culture might as well not try to change up too much. You know, it's like the same thing with bluegrass when I've tried to do the funk thing or like, whatever the heck else I was doing, just come back and be like, you know, I was raised up in Stokes County. It's okay to be country and, you know, hillbilly or whatever. It's, there's, you know, you ain't got to, I don't know. Anyway. I relate. I relate to that, man. Yeah. Yeah. Went off on a long tangent there, but there, you know. No, I mean, it was like good for me to, I mean, I asked too uh, what, 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 what it all was. All this good food you're eating, it was all vegetarian. Yeah. Yeah. And I've stuck with that a little bit. I eat fish now. Um, you know, it's a pretty healthy diet being the pescatarian, you know, right now. And uh kind of went down to the beach with my buddy Pinky <laughs> and he was like, Hey man, hold my beer. Uh no, he no, he said, uh, hold the rod. Here, I gotta get a beer. Mm. That's what it was. And then so there was this moment where I was like, I want to reel this fish in, you know, it felt like a little kid on the banks of the river again. I was like, Oh, it's all coming back. I was like I want to catch fish. And then just like start eating fish. Basically. But yeah. 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 I hear yeah. that. 